uh, not only the speed, but the quickness, um, his stop-start ability. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's very few people that are like that fast and that quick as well. So, I mean, obviously you see all the ability there. It's just about him just, just getting more and more knowledgeable in the system, getting more and more comfortable. And then like, just from practicing against him, as long as he stays with it, I mean, he'll be good as he wants to be. Did you catch him? I remember you caught him in Alabama. Oh, you saw him. oh, without a doubt. You know, he looked like the college football Tyreek Hill. Like, you know, just how he was able to run through defenses. And then when he got the ball, you know, like I said, make one cut and then he's running up the sideline. So, I mean, just a rare talent, um, rare ability. Um, just has a lot of upside. And like I said, how good he wants to be is up to him. How important was it for, for the unit to you know, get these good practice workouts in? Oh, it, was, it, was, it was good. I mean, just because um, it allows us to go against another offense, um, uh, come down here in this heat, um, get tested mentally and physically uh, with the elements. So it was just good, you know. And it's just good to be on the road just with your team, you know. Spend time with your teammates, spend time with your coaches, and just build that camaraderie that you want as a, you know, as a close football team. How is it coming together from, from your perspective mm -hmm. as a veteran? Mm -hmm. when y'all have a lot of, you know, new yeah, for sure. coming together. It's progressing, you know. It's it's going to always be a work in progress. Even when we get in season, we're going to be steadily trying to just go like this and improve. So it's not something that's going to come together in three weeks, four weeks, or eight weeks. It's going to be something that we just continue to try to just improve throughout the season. And uh, Dante said, you know, one band, one sound. That's from last Mm-hmm. <laughs> How important is that for y'all to reset that yeah. type of uh, unity and unity? Yeah, for sure. As cliche as that is, you know, I mean, it's very important. I mean, um, you want to have that camaraderie, like I said, and um, each other's back, knowing that no matter what, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to sacrifice for you. I'm going to do my best job to do my job so that you don't have to, you know, ever feel like you have to, you know, overreach or overdo. So when we know that you have 11 guys out there who you can count on to do their job, um, Special things can happen. In that uh, well, last uh, situation, uh, how'd y'all win there at the end? Looks like uh, uh, y'all were able to, to get a stop there at the end. With yeah. 30 to go. Yeah. Ball on the 40 drill mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just situational football. And it just came to everybody just doing their job. You know, when you, you look at situations like that, you know, sometimes they move the ball, but you just got to stick with it. You got to keep pressing. You got to keep uh, just. Stay mentally locked in to do your job, and that's what we were able to do, and we was able to come away with a win in that last two-minute drill. Thanks, Karan. No problem. Thanks, Karan. You mentioned it's a D-led right there. Actually, a couple of times saying about camaraderie. Yeah. Right? Not a lot of teams get five-day trips. Yeah. You know, anytime this season, much less the preseason. Mm -hmm. Give me an idea how you build that, right? We see you for two and a half hours. Yeah. We'll see you on Saturday. What else happens where you're able to build Oh, it's a lot, man. You know, guys are hanging out with each other. I know the DBs, we're going to go to dinner tonight. And, you know, it's football, it's football, but then, when you get the time to relax, man, we're relaxing together. You know, we're watching games together. We're just chilling together. There are people in each other's room. Like, people are going outside, walking around. Like, it's just, like, that's how you build it. You know, you can't just build it playing football because, I mean, football, you know, we're there with each other, like, playing football all day. But when you really get to know a man, you know, like, his reason why he's playing or you know his family, like, just the bond and the relationship is special. So you know that no matter what, like, I know I'm going to do whatever I can to never let A.J. Terrell down, and I know he feels the same way with me. And you said, you know, going outside and walking around, that's something y'all couldn't have done last year. Uh, you, you, you hit that oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. How, how, how different is life? Like, how do you compare uh, what y'all did on the road yeah. last year? This is the first road trip. Yeah, it's, it's completely different. I know last year we were, you know, obviously stuck in the um, in the hotel for, you know, rightful reasons, but just being able to, be out, like getting out of the space and getting out of the comfort zone. And like, like I said, like we're right on the beach. So we're able to walk down the strip, you know, you know, and just take our mind off football and just, like I said, genuinely get to know the other person. Cause like you said, we got some new people, but at the end of the day, we spend so much time together, you know, like we spend more time with each other than we actually do with our family. So the more you get to know the man next to you, the tighter the group would be. And, uh, and you mentioned AJ there. Uh, it seems like every time we're in practice, he makes some kind of splash mm -hmm. play. What, yeah. what have you seen out of him? What kind of growth even in the last few weeks? Man, I, since I've gotten here, man, I've seen a very, very mature uh, young man. I mean, I think he's 21, and he's mature beyond his years. Um, very, very impressed with the way he approaches the game. But then, like, he's just – he's a silent assassin. He doesn't really say much, but he's always locked in. He's always playing hard. Um, and he just takes the right approach to the game. Like. 
he's another young guy that like literally he'll be as good as he wants to be because just his approach and his eager to learn his eager to you know be the best that he can on the field is is unmatched and I'm just excited to just, you know watch him grow and be his teammate all right all right no problem all right no problem